Welcome back to Learning Partner. So in this video, we are going to see how we can create a reusable tab component. Okay, if we means reusable, by means we just have to put this code in a separate component, and wherever we need the tabs, we just have to send what are the tabs we need. Let's say in a particular page we need four tabs, in different page we need seven tabs. So we just have to pass the array of different tabs we are going to need. Okay, so we will need one input, right? After that, we need to check like which tab is currently active. Okay, so if we click on the second, it should be activated. If we click on the third, it should be activated. And based on the uh, below the tabs, that particular UI should be enabled. Okay, so same thing we are going to create using reusable component. So this is the basic project I have created. In that reusable folder is there. So I will create a component, ng generate component and tabs. Okay, so this will create a component okay so as you can see component is being created and same you can see it here okay now this is a reusable component so we first need to put this code unli inside the html of the tabs component okay okay so this we have put it here so if we now we have to render this component into user component so by using its selector we can load tab component into user component so let's create some local structure we can use the selector like this so this selector is came, coming from the selector of that particular component that we have loaded into the user list component let's save it all now if we go to the application you can see the basic tags are here okay but now this is static because we have just rendered the particular component and in that component we just have this static okay let me get rid of this otherwise it will navigate to the parent path okay so now what we have to do we just have to send the data using input like what number of tabs i need okay so for that we have to create one input to create the input first we need to add the import statement okay it came from the angular slash core library then we have to create the input at the rate input round bracket then our input name that will be as array okay first we will create string array initializing with empty okay so this is what we have created at the rate input at the rate input tabs array is our input name just it's just a simple variable but we can send the data to this component by using this variable okay now since this is an array so we can use ng for okay this was li verb static now we just have to remove everything and we just have to iterate on the li star ng for let tab of my variable name that is tabs array whatever the name i got i just have to print it over here that is tab okay considering we are going to get the string array of the tab name okay now so we have created this input now we have to pass the data to this component wherever we are using its selector so in user list component we are using it so in user list dot here we have to create the variable so in currently we are in the user list component here we have to create an array of what number of tabs I need in the tab component. So let's say tabs colon string is equal to square bracket. Okay. Here. Okay. Here we need to create. Let's say register is my one tab. Then family. Details is another tab. Third tab will be contact details, and fourth tab will be user. Let's say bank details. Okay, so in this array, we have array of string where four elements are there register, family detail, contact detail, and bank detail. Now, to our reusable component, we have to pass this. So in our reusable component, we have an input that is 
tabs array right this is an input of the tab component now we are passing the array from the user list component so input is what we can pass data from parent component to the child component using square bracket so this was okay so this was the input of tab component now we are passing that from the parent component parent component is our user list okay child component is app tabs okay so from parent component we are sending data to the child component that is the use of input okay now let's see this okay so you can see all the components what are the tabs we have sent that are loaded over, over here correctly now next thing is if you can see no tabs is no tab is activated right now okay now second task to activate any particular tab so in tab component let's create a variable that is not input just the local variable that is activated tab it will be number by default we will initialize it with zero okay so we can use this variable to add a dynamic class okay so as you can see i have created activated number activated variable let me show you activated tab it is having value 2 okay and this activated tab i have used on the ng class okay so ng class condition is if activated tab is equal to is equal to sr sr is serial number we are storing the serial number into sr variable okay if this is true then we are adding active class otherwise empty okay same i have printed serial number is over here and the condition what we have given here we can see here so let's see you see contact detail is getting activated if we change the number to one so let's see which tab gets activated so you can see family details got activated because here that condition got true now if we click somewhere on the tab that particular tab is not getting activated so for that we need to write the event event will be on the index okay so we need to use click event is equal to say tab and parameter we have to send serial number that is particular index number now we need to create this event in our dot ts and from html we are sending some value that we need to catch it over here that is index colon number and that we have to set to a variable this dot activated tab is equal to index so now if we click somewhere you will get to see like that tab is getting activated okay in by uh, in initialization we have set that to one so family detail is activated now let's click on bank detail so you can see this got activated see okay now input is done we have sent the array we have made the tabs activated also we have added the dynamic class active to which particular tab is activated with the event we have sent the current index which we have to activate by using his next thing is we have to send the data back to the parent component like which tab is activated currently okay based on that we will show some content over here let's create a row and in that quality we can have multiple views so here we can see let's say paragraph mm, this is what number of tabs we have register family and contact this is register panel same way we can create multiple just format it this is family next contact and bank contact and this is bank okay so if you see now i will explain you the task first now when i click on the register only this div should be visible when i click on the family the only this div should be visible when i click on the bank only this div should be visible okay now so for that we know like we are getting uh, at, a, at a time only one tab is activated and that we can see using activated tab 
So whatever the particular tab is activated, that number we can see over here. So we can emit this to the parent component every time we change. Okay. So for that we have to create output. So to create output, we have to input two things. First output, then event emitter. Then we have to declare the output and create output. Round bracket, our output name on tab change. Okay, is equal to new event emitter. And with this, we will be sending our data. So data type will be number. Okay, so to uh, input. So again, come, coming to the first point, like input is used to send the data from parent to child. Now output is used to send the data from child to parent, vice versa. Input to send the data from parent to child and output is to get the data from child to parent. Okay, so we have created one input and we will be setting the, uh, we will be sending the data of type number. Okay, so when we set the tab index, we just need to send the data also using output dot emit. After emit, we can send the activated tab. This. Okay, so first thing, we have created output, an output which is sending the data of type number. Then once we set the tab, we are sending the data using its using its event on tab change, emit and sending the data. Now we have to use this in our selector. Okay, so here we need to add just like this. Normally we used to write the click event. Now instead of that, now what event we have in the component? Only one event that is tab change. Okay. Now we need to catch that event over here also on tab, tab change. Okay, so if you can see when we are emitting the data, we are sending some value. So we need to catch that value over here also. So this is our function. It will be here, round bracket and whatever the data we are sending from the child component, we have to catch that here so we have to write dollar event okay now we need to add a parameter also over here tab index colon number since we know like number is the parameter what we are going to send now we need to store that to some uh, parent variable okay Activated tab index colon number let's initialize to zero whatever the value we will get from here we will store into this variable is equal to tab index okay so let me just add a debug so you can see like what data we are sending from the child component and how we are getting it to the parent okay so let's save and check it let me open the console Okay, so if I click on the contact details, so if you can see first debugger what we have got is in tab component. Now index is two, same we are stored, we have stored that into the activated tab. Now I am sending the data from child to the parent using emit event, continue. So now you can see same two we have sent, now we have got that two into the user list component that is parent component and that we are storing into this variable. Okay, now we can use this variable to show and hide this particular divs at a time only one div should be visible, right? So this is the variable where we are getting the activated tab. This we can use over here using ng. Tab is equal to zero. We have to show this div. Let me just copy paste. This will be three two one okay so let's see now now we, what we just have to do we just have to keep the default value same everywhere so here also it is zero and in child component also it is zero so let's see okay so you can see only register panel div is activated now if i see click on the contact detail you can see contact detail panel is available if i click on the family this div is activated if I click on the bank, this div get activated. So this is how we have created reusable tab component. Let's see. See. 
fitting it. So this is how we have created a reusable parent uh, reusable tab component. Okay, let me revise the code. What we have done, we have just copy pasted the basic thing from the bootstrap and we have created one input. That input is going to send our uh, what are the tabs we need. Okay, so input that is going to string. Okay, tab array of string. And that array we have used to iterate over the li. You can see ng4 on the tabs array. And uh, in the anchor tag, we have just used, we have just printed the tab name. Next thing, we need to make the activation, like which tab is currently active, right? So for that, we have created one variable that is activated tab. And that activated tab we are using with the ng class. If activated tab is equal to is equal to sr, sr is nothing but index of the for loop. Okay. If if this condition is true, then we are adding an active class, otherwise, we are removing it. Okay. And then on click of li, we are setting the current index. So set tab and we are sending the sr. So as you, as you can see in index, we are setting it to the activated tab. Now in the parent component, we have different divs which we which need to be activated on the click of it, right? So you can see div is getting changed. So that we are uh, that we are achieving using the output. So input is like sending the data from parent to child. Output is from sending the data from child to parent. So we have created output is equal to new event emitter and sending the data number. So once we set the tab, this dot output our tab change dot emit and we are sending the data. This we are catching to the parent using like this. Okay, so this is our output and this is a local event that is tab change and we are storing that whatever the value we get from there into this variable and we are using this to hide and show the different views. See, only condition is changed. So once we change that particular div get activated. Okay, so that is about one of the reusable component which you can create and you can get the basic understanding of input and output also. Okay, and a very nice scenario. So that's it with the current video. Please do like and subscribe. Hope you are enjoying all the videos I am posting.